Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created Spring Boot and Angular projects. And after this, we installed UI library in our Angular project. And in today's video, we will connect our Spring Boot application with the database. And after this, we will create the user entity as well. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application to connect this with MySQL database, we need to mention the configurations in our properties file. So we will open our resources folder and in this we will open application.properties and in this file we need to mention the configuration and first of all we need to give the database URL and to give this we will mention spring.datasource.url is equals to and we will mention jdbc colon mysql and after this we need to give the environment and the port and because we need to use this in our local environment so we will give localhost and the port will be 3306 and after this we need to give the database name and we will give it as hotel underscore db and with this the url is completed now we need to give the username and to do this we will write spring.datasource.username and I will give it as root and after the username we need to give the password so we will write spring.datasource.password is equals to and in my case it is root and after the password we need to give the driver class name so we will write spring.datasource.driver class name and we will give it as com.mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver and after this we need to write two jpa configurations and the first one is spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto and we will set this to update so the jpa can update the ddl of our schema and after this we need to write a query to show the sql queries in the logs so we will write spring.jpa.showsql and we will set the value in it is equals to true. And with this the database configurations are completed. And now we need to create a user entity. And before creating this entity we need to create an entity package. So we will right click on our hotel server package and we will choose new package. And we will name this package as entity. And now we will right click on this entity package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as user and to make this class a jpa entity we need to annotate this with at the rate entity annotation and after this to get the getters and setters we will annotate this with at the rate data annotation and after this we need to mention the properties of our user entity and the first property we want to store is the id so we will mention private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as id and after this to make it a primary key we will annotate this with at the rate id annotation and after this we need to give the generation logic so we will mention at the rate generated value annotation and for the strategy we will set it to generation type dot identity so it can automatically increment in the id one by one on the creation of new user and after the id we need to store the email of the user so we will mention private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as email and after the email we need to store the password so we will mention private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as password and after the password we need to store the name of the user so we will mention private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as name and at the end we need to store the role of the user so we will mention private and here we need to use an enum and the enum will be user role and we will name this as user role and with this our user entity is completed now we need to create this user role enum so we will right click on our hotel server package and we will create a new package and we will name this package as enums and now let's hit enter and now let's right click on our enums package and let's create a new java class and we will name this class as user role and from the types we will select enum and as you know our project will have two types of roles and the first role will be admin and the second role will be customer and our user role enum is completed now let's go back to the user entity 
and here let's import our user role class and now let's open our mysql workbench and let's create an empty schema and in our mysql workbench to create a new schema we need to click on this icon and after this it is asking the name of the schema which we can give as hotel underscore db and now let's click on this apply button and after this we can confirm our query which is create schema hotel underscore db and now let's click on this apply button and as you can see we got the message sql script was successfully applied to the database and now let's click on this finish button and as you can see we got our hotel underscore db schema now let's open this and as you can see for now we don't have any tables in it now let's go back to the intellij and here we need to run our application so let's click on this button and as you can see our application is up without any errors and in the logs we can see one sql query got executed which is create table user and now let's go to our mysql workbench to validate this table creation and in the mysql workbench let's right click on the hotel underscore db and let's click on refresh all and as you can see we got a drop down for the tables now let's expand our tables and as you can see we got the table user and now to view the data of this table we can click on this icon and as you can see for now we don't have any records in this table but we can confirm the columns as we can see id email name password and user role and that's it for today's video in the next video we will start implementation of spring security and jwt in our spring boot application